Hi, welcome to uh, my nursing lecture. This is Complications of Diabetes by Lisa Brown. Um, this will be on YouTube, so I just want to say I am a nurse, uh, but I'm not a doctor or not doing any type of um, trying to diagnose anything. This is basically set for nursing students to be able to um, help them explain things better to their patients. Today we're going to talk about some of the other complications that, uh, or some of the complications that can occur because of type 2 diabetes. Um, diabetes affects millions of Americans. Uh, the CDC, uh, according to the CDC, there's 29 million people in the United States that have diabetes that are type 2 diabetics, which is 9.3% of the population. Uh, we see this a lot in the hospitals. Um, which is why it's important for the nursing students to be able to understand a lot of this and how diabetes can affect because the majority of your patients uh, or a lot of your patients will have diabetes. Um, the incidence of type of diabetes has doubled in all adult age groups in the past two decades. The prevalence varies by ethnic groups uh, and gender. Although the increase in overall prevalence of diabetes has increased the most in white men, 116% increase since 1980. Uh, there's also been a great increase in children, uh, teenagers who are diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. A lot of this is due to obese, obesity. Um, the condition remains the most common uh, in black women uh, with an overall prevalence of 8.8% and a prevalence of 34% in those age 65 to 74, which is what you run into again in the hospitals with older adults. Uh, the information came from, or from that came from uh, McCants and Huther, half of this book. Uh, the objectives for this. First objective uh, is at the end of this presentation, students will be able to list at least three of the five complications of type 2 diabetes that we're going to be talking about. Uh, the next, the student will be able to list at least two signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia and DKA. Uh, the third is the students will be allowed time to ask questions uh, that they may have regarding uh, the lecture. Complications of type 2 diabetes. Like I said, we'll talk about five of them. Um, we'll just kind of scratch the surface of this. It's very in-depth, so we're just going to do a little bit here. Uh, first one is stroke. We're supposed to do a lecture on something that uh, appeals to us or is um, important to us. My dad has diabetes and May 2nd of this year he had a stroke. He was fortunate that he's recovered, uh, obviously not completely, um, but he's able to be at home and um, with my mom's help stay at home and survive on that. He's not able to drive anymore but he can dress himself and feed himself and everything else which is a really good thing. Um, strokes, stroke is twice as common in people with diabetes uh, as in non-diabetic population. Uh, ischemic stroke is more common than hemorrhagic stroke and the survival rate of an individual with diabetes after a massive stroke is typically shorter than for a person without diabetes. Uh, like I said, stroke is one of the major uh, complications of diabetes. It can have lifelong effects on the patient. Next one is neuropathy. Neuropathy is defined as nerve damage uh, from diabetes is called uh, neuropathy. About half of the people with diabetes have some form of nerve damage. The chance of developing neuropathy increases the longer that you have the disease. Uh, and the information from that was given uh, by diabetes.org, which is the American Diabetic Association, or Diabetes Association. Uh, this nerve damage occurs when the diabetic does not adequately control their blood sugar levels. So we have number two is neuropathy. This is also one thing that uh, my dad does have. He does have the neuropathy. 
and one thing that can happen with a neuropathy is the patients can develop uh, ulcers and patients are diabetics are um, one of the most common admitting diagnosis for diabetics is ulcers of the feet. The person that you see here uh, these were taken, this is by a 50-year-old man who had developed lesions on his feet um, after new shoes had rubbed on them. And it shows the progression from day one here all the way to black and necrotic on day 10. It says the patient was, um, the man was obese and did not know that he was diabetic. Those were some bad looking feet there. Um, my dad has been fortunate enough with my mom's help to uh, not end up developing any sores. Uh, one thing that's very good for diabetics uh, is diabetic shoes. They need to be very careful with that. Um, you can warn your diabetic patients too. As in the hospital, um, we're not allowed to clip anybody's toenails and have them go to like a podiatrist and have their toenails and feet taken care of. Uh, next one is skin complications. There are many complications that, uh, many infections that can occur uh, in a patient with uh, diabetes. Uh, one are styes, which are infections of the eyelids. Others are boils uh, or folliculitis. Folliculitis is an infection of the hair follicle. Uh, carbuncles, which are deep infections of the skin and the tissues underneath it. Uh, another is infections around the nails, which is also a really good reason for a diabetic patient to have a um, podiatrist. This information was taken from uh, diabetes.org, the American Diabetic Association. Next one is hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia is basically what diabetes is. It's how it's diagnosed. Hyperglycemia is too much sugar in the blood or glucose in the blood and not enough insulin to counteract that sugar. Um, DKA, which is diabetic ketoacidosis, is um, a serious complication that can occur. Um, it's also a common cause of hospitalizations for diabetic patients. DKA is more uh, commonly seen in patients with type 1 diabetes, but it can occur in patients with type 2. DKA. All right. Um, diabetic ketoacidosis uh, develops when there's an absolute or relative deficiency of insulin. Some of the signs and symptoms of diabetic, ke diabetic ketoacidosis are Kussmaul's res respirations, which is hyperventilation. It's the body's attempt to get rid of the acid. Um, there can be dizziness, central nervous system depression, uh, ketonuria, anorexia, nausea, abdominal pain, thirst, and polyuria. The fifth one that we'll talk about is hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia occurs when the patient's blood sugar gets too low. Um, what's kind of common for children in adults is a blood sugar that's below 40 or is between 45 and 60. The symptoms of hypoglycemia usually start to occur after the patient's blood sugar drops below 60, but it can occur higher levels of with a higher blood sugar if there's been a rapid drop in uh, blood sugar amounts. This of course too is more common in type 1 diabetics, more that are insulin dependent, but it is something that I've seen a lot of times in the hospitals um, with type 2 diabetics. And there's, a, let's see, patient can have tachycardia, palpitations, diaphoresis, tremors, pallor, um, and arousal anxiety. Further symptoms include headache, dizziness, fatigue, poor judgment, confusion, visual changes, um, hunger, seizures, and coma. And these are um, where also the information was taken from McCants and Huther, Pathophys book. Uh -huh. 
there's a great mnemonic that can be used um, for the students to help learn or to teach the patients. Um, and it is uh, hot and dry, sugar's high, and cool and clammy, you need some candy. Um, the mnemonic was taken from the following website here that's on the Conclusion, diabetes is a disease that affects millions of people here in the United States. Uh, the disease leads to many other complications that can affect um, all different parts of the body. Uh, it's very important to be informed so that you can inform your patients of the possible complications of diabetes. Um, it's also important that you know the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia and DKA so that you can recognize those in your patients. Um, and what I've seen in my years of nursing um, is nurses and nursing students get frustrated. You can't ever change somebody. You can only give them the information so that they can change themselves. All right, so just a quick review is up on the board. The five complications we briefly talked about for diabetes are stroke, neuropathy. Uh, neuropathy can lead to foot ulcers, which cause all sorts of other problems. Uh, the other next one, third one, is skin complications. Fourth one is DKA. And the final one that we briefly spoke about was hypoglycemia. And then I would ask my students if there's any questions. I don't think we have any questions from the audience. And this is the reference for the book that was used for a lot of the information. The other information um, that was used uh, was cited on the websites on the PowerPoint. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.